every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it. Say if you a bad bitch, put your hands up high, hands up high, hands up high. Tell them Hello you guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Something that we don't normally do on my channel. I'm not even sure I've ever done this. I'm pretty sure I haven't. So no, this is the first time I'm ever doing this kind of video. So... In today's video, as you read from the title, we are going to be doing a confessions video. I'm going to be reading you guys' confession and I'm going to be reacting to it, you know, adding my commentary. So, if this is the type of video you guys like to watch, then stick around. But let's not waste any time and let's get right into it because I'm interested and you guys gave me a lot of juicy confessions. Low-key, all of these confessions are wild. Like, all of these confessions are crazy. So, okay, the first one is... When I was little, I used to sniff people's behinds when they bent over. Oh, there's more to it. I was eight when I recognized it was morally wrong. I feel so bad for those poor, poor people who bent over in front of me. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh, oh my. Because uh, what? Hold on, I gotta read this again. I used to sniff people's behinds. When I was little... I was playing with paint when the computer didn't have all the stuff that you can do with the computer. When I was little, I was playing with Barbies. And then it says I was eight when I recognized it was wrong. So, I mean, I guess I guess I can't judge you because you were really, really young. So, really, you're a kid. You're just not mentally there. But still, like, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to be honest with you guys. Like, have I ever sniffed anyone's butt just just try sniffing people's butts like no 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 <laughs> this one i don't get but i don't judge either hey i'm glad you came to the realization when you were eight that it was wrong so hey props to you okay we're thank you for sharing this and wow all right guys the next one i used to steal money from church Growing up, there was a large fountain in the foyer of my church and people would throw coins into it. And at the end of the year, all the coins would be sent to missionary works all over the globe. When I was about six, all I could see was a bunch of snack money for school. Oh my God. That doesn't sound good. This does not sound good. Well, you already say you used to steal. Well, I, know where the, I know where this is going, but still. What the heck? I would sneak out during church and grab handfuls of quarters. Hey, that's good money though. Quarters, that's good. And back then, woo, you was really making that bank. Okay, needless to say, I never had to beg my mom for snack money again. But you were six. I'm kind of concerned. Your mom didn't want like, I feel like I never had that, it, like, I never had that issue. I don't, I don't know. I never, I don't know. Let me keep reading. This went on for years. And at a rate of $3 a day on snacks, I'd say it was pretty large sum of money. I stopped doing this when I was about 10 and realized what I was doing wasn't right. My thing is like, I have so many questions. So that must have felt like a rush. You know when you do something that's not right and it feels, it feels like a rush? Like how'd you get away with it for... So you started when I was about 6. So you were doing that for 4 years. Six to ten. You were doing that until you were ten years. Four years. You never got caught. You ne did. You never get caught. Like that's. You never got caught. Honestly, I personally believe that most church use the money for other stuff themselves. So hey, hey, you were just trying to get by. You were trying to get a little snacks. Okay, you weren't using the money for drugs or anything bad. So I mean, I don't want to judge you because I mean, hey, kids gotta eat, right? Kid gotta eat. Hey. And, 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 I'm glad you realized it was wrong. It's okay, you realized it was wrong when you were 10. But hey, you probably, you probably, uh, you probably made that bank. You probably rich, huh? You were rich. You were rich. You were, you, you were a little kid with a lot of money. <laughs> you know what, another thing I was thinking about, I wonder if the church was like, bro, I swear there was more coins in here. You know, you taking all the money from the, from the fountain. They're probably like, what the? The church is probably thinking like, oh my god, this is some witchcraft or, you know, like some, just some holy water or something. They must think something outrageous happened, something evil, I don't know, like, I don't, I don't know, man, but that's, that's funny. I wonder what would have happened if you got caught. I mean, nothing serious would have happened. I mean, you're a kid, but still, that would have been funny. You slick. Okay, the next one. I once served a customer chicken sandwich from the garbage can. See, this is what I mean. This is what I'm talking about. 
this is my biggest fear ordering from fast food places stuff like this you didn't even give me the reason of why you did that but that's wrong see i wouldn't do stuff like that okay well you didn't i don't even know how old you were when you did this but i don't even think it matters actually it doesn't even matter how old you were like that's just not right man i'm telling you that karma is gonna bite you in the butt this is why you don't do stuff like that but i bet you got your karma and well then again, the customer, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know the context of why you did that, but that's crazy. You know what the worst part is? I bet that was the best chicken sandwich that customer ever had. That's the worst part. That's the worst part. Ooh, that was the best chicken sandwich they ever had. That's crazy. That's crazy. But see, that's why we need to start eating at home for this foolery. Because that's, that's wild. You wild for that one. See, I, I wouldn't trust you to make my food. Now I know. Okay, the next one, I am... 50 50 on whether or not i should say this on here because this is youtube and y'all know how youtube is so it's very what's the word this confession is not pg-13 this is x-rated or y'all know this is x-rated so this is adult content okay i will try to word everything as careful as i can or blur it out or beep it out y'all know yeah i'm gonna tr try to do my best because youtube is very serious okay let's do this honestly i don't know how i'm gonna do this because it's like there's no way i mean i don't know i don't know should i share this confession i'm gonna word it a certain way but you guys will still understand what i'm saying because how could you not i accidentally licked my pee pee and this is how i felt i licked my pee pee <laughs> How do you accidentally lick? Okay. I was waking off. Oh, 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 okay. They were doing stuff to something they were watching on their phone. On the toilet. And you know when you're about to finish the stuff, you kind of bend over for whatever reason. But sometimes you do it aggressively. I wouldn't know. I'm, 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 I'm not a man. The hotter the girl, the more I bend. What? I'm gonna have to ask some guys because I don't understand what that means. So I was trying to finish to a 3D animated character and I never knew people could make them look so good. So obviously I bent a little too hard today. Today? Because they were so hot. I thought this was the past. Okay. Today. I just want to make sure I get the information. All the information. Okay. Oof. Make sure I'm not reading it. Like I'm just not like losing my mind reading this. <laughs> thinking it's from the past this is recent okay this is t this is recent because they were so hot so when i finished i oh i did stuff all over my face and then i realized i was so close to my pee pee so i tried to lick it and i could only suck the the top let's call it the top tbh i thought it would feel better and then i left the bathroom and went straight to my room I did it again to make sure I wasn't delusional. So I tried and did it. I don't know how it happened so fast. I went from wanting to suck my pee pee and failed to suck it. And it didn't feel that good in the span of two days. My brain, my brain power, I have, I don't even know what I read. There's so many twists and turns to this confession. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, like, uh, is that. I guess I'm gonna ask the male audience, is that something that's happened to you? Have you accidentally sucked sucked it? I don't know. Like, did you like it? I, don't, I mean, I, I don't know. No, you know what? No, don't answer that. Don't answer that. I don't want to know. Actually, I don't want to know. I, my thing is, it happened. It was an accident. But then you wanted to try it again to see if it felt good. And then it didn't feel good. And so my thing now is, I feel like it's more complicated. It's like, do you like to suck or do you not like to suck are you straight are you like it's, just like it's a lot of questions going through my head is it I'm not, I'm not gonna use the word because i'm not gonna use the word if you guys know what i'm thinking about then you guys know what I'm thinking. i just can't say it because the world is so different now so i'm just curious as to what your preference is now if you are you know what it's none of my business it's none of my business Let's go on to the next one. Next one is, I'm just shook. I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I should have known by the way the story started because that's, now I have to go ask people because I'm like, huh? What? 
how how bent do you have to be for that to happen because let's imagine i i have one right i like that is i mean i guess it's doable i mean i mean <laughs> That's crazy. Now you you definitely wild for that one. Okay, this next one is kind of different. A total twist from the last confession. This one says, found out the big scar I have on my head, which they were told it was because they fell off a slide, was actually from me being thrown from across the room as a baby. What? Are you okay? My grandpa actually told my wife, your wife? I'm freaking out because I'm like, I'm thinking I just have a certain age group answering my questions, but I, I don't, so I shouldn't even be surprised. My grandpa actually told my wife that while he was shit-faced and that I almost died. Never confronted about it, but I also don't want to because it was over 20 years ago and I feel like it would cause problems within the family. Um, who cares? No, who cares because you live with that every day. You live with that every day and it's part of you, so... I hate whenever you find out something and it's a lie. Honestly, I feel like that says more about your family than you. I can tell you're a good person because you don't want to start anything within the family. But I feel like, I mean, technically it's not that serious. But if your grandpa, you know, that's on your grandpa's mind too. So, I mean, I don't know. I feel like that's something that you need closure from. Even if you don't want to start anything, I feel like hey like hey let's talk about it you know let's talk about it by the way grandpa told me this this is the truth and of course you know what family's gonna do they're gonna lie they're gonna be like oh no that's not why he was drunk blah 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 no one your grandpa was 100 percent telling the truth he was telling the truth and two you need closure from that because i have several thoughts about this so one i feel like you may not care maybe you do i think you do care because you know it came up here so i mean you're thinking about it it's in your head but two if this is one of the events that happened when you were a baby then i'm i want to know i'm kind of curious what was what was your um what was it like growing up were there other events do you have other scars that they lied to you about i would definitely say go get some closure on that and come back and let me know what happened all right let's go to the next one i was eating out maybe a year and a half ago and i really had a fart so i did and had a lot of diarrhea came out of that hole oh <laughs> why did i read it like that i had a lot of diarrhea came out of that hole i whispered in my mom's ear that i just myself and she said to go to the bathroom so that's what i did after i got in there i hit my dookie underwear behind the toilet and dipped there's more to it, but I just need to react to that because this is why I hate public bathrooms. That's nasty. That's nasty. And you said a year and a half ago. I wish you never told me this. That's just nasty. I'm trying to think of what other things you could have done. I mean... Wait, because no, you could have done better. What am I thinking? You could have thrown away the underwear. You could have gone with that underwear, cleaned yourself in the bathroom, throw the underwear, wrap it around, wrap it around in some toilet paper, throw it in that. Well, I don't know if men have that, actually. That's pretty valid. I don't know if men have that thing that women's bathrooms have, wherever they can put their tampons or other stuff that you're not supposed to put in the toilet. I don't know if men, men's bathroom have that, so I don't know. But if they do, you could have disposed of it that actually even if they didn't have that in that in the bathroom you could have still gone to the bathroom cleaned yourself came out with the with with your dookie underwear and thrown it in the trash where because I, I know men's bathroom has a trash can too don't tell me it doesn't have a trash can it has a trash can and you could have thrown it out that way why would you have to hide it behind the toilet that's so nasty i'm just thinking about the 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 cleaning person that has to come clean that they're literally gonna quit i i would quit I would quit. I'm like, nope, they don't pay me enough for this. I quit. I quit. Because who did that? Because who did that? Who? Why would you do that? Okay, let me keep reading. And then after that, I had to ride home with another family because my mom was going somewhere. And so I did. And I was so scared. It smelled like the whole ride. What you're telling me is you didn't even clean yourself right? Also, your mom, she should have saved She should have saved you from that one because you told her that that's what happened to you and she still told you to go with another family. 
like that's when you really need your mom right there that is an emergency mom i don't care we have to go this is serious you need to ride home with me because i just dookied on myself and you are gonna you are supposed to love me unconditionally not this other family and not these not these other people because what if that other family was like, ooh, it smells like poop. I bet I bet that did come up. They were like, ooh, it smells like poop. And everyone was like, oh, that's just the environment or something. Or maybe that's something that you said. Oh, that was just the environment. But it's really you. It's really you. Hey. Ooh, that's scary. But my thing is like, how bad did you... Oh, you said diarrhea, so it must have been pretty bad. But still, I feel like I feel like you could come back from that in the bathroom. You say you went to the bathroom. You could have like I don't know, gypsy washed your body. I don't know. You could have I don't know. I don't know what like. I, you could have you could have done something. Okay, you could have done. I don't. I just don't understand how you. I I don't know. <gasps> you do it on your pants too. That's what you forgot to tell me. Okay, I get it. Okay, so you. Okay, 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 okay. You do get on your pants too. Yeah, your mom should have saved you from that one. I don't know what to tell you, but you still in the wrong too, because you didn't have to do that. You didn't have to put the underwear behind the toilet. That's <sighs> thing. Whoever saw that, I hope you're doing good today. You deserve a hug. <laughs> That's messed up. I intentionally I'm gonna say it like this because I don't think YouTube will ban me for this, but I don't know if I wanna risk it. I might bleep it out. Yeah, I think I'll bleep. I'll, I will have to bleep this out because this is like, this is like, wait, this this might be, this might be too much. This might be, I don't know, this is worse than the other story, but sexual wise, it's a lot. So I intentionally came in my girlfriend to keep her forever. Already starting this horrible. She miscarried the baby after three weeks. Later that month, she expressed to me that she wanted to try again. She thought we might as well have a baby for real after the miscarriage. Where's the lot? Okay, I'm not even gonna judge. I'm gonna keep reading. So we tried again and eventually she successfully got pregnant. My daughter is here now and everything about this family, quote, quote, that's what they put it as, quote, quote, sucks. A-S-S. It doesn't help that she doesn't want to be with me. Thanks, karma. See? Look, look at it. Look, cuz, y'all, you can't, one, Man, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying not to get deep into, because there's so much that could be said from everything that you said. You really need to pick out who you have a kid with. Like, really, really think about it, because a kid is forever. Okay, having a kid is no joke, and I get that. I, I don't have a kid, but I get that, and I'm gonna think. 50 times before I choose the man I want to have a kid with because that's forever no matter what happens to your relationship no matter what you're still gonna have to deal with that person because that is the father of your baby the mom of the baby like this is that's forever okay that's forever unless they die or hey if they want to be a deadbeat then hey you know I, you know some people everybody reacts different sometimes you think a person is this way and then you have a baby with them and then they turn out to be this whole other person. You really, really need to get to know somebody before you have a kid with them. Like you really, really need to get to know them. Ask about everything. Ask about religion. Ask how you want the baby to be raised. Ask about school. Ask about all the things that matter in a kid's life and who you would want to have a kid with. And if you knew she was sleeping around and she's this kind of way and she doesn't do this and she doesn't do that, do you think trapping her and having a kid with her was gonna change that no it just makes things worse to be honest with you guys you said everything about this family sucks and it doesn't help that she doesn't want to be with you yeah so now she doesn't want to be with you and you're stuck with this baby forever and her technically forever you know what i mean you know what i mean so hey that's i mean i feel like this is a good confession because i feel like we all needed to hear this just in case i know this is gonna reach the right ears so be careful who you have a kid with. Okay, the next one. I text old guys pretending to be a girl and I normally ask them to hook up after a week or two. And I ask them for gas money, money or money to fly me out. Then I dip on them. But this one time, one of them asked me to video call them and shake my butt for $100. And I showed him my butt. Bruh, I don't regret it though. Free hundred. That's horrible. So, I have 
a lot of questions about this one because why do you do that? Why are there people that do that? You're catfishing for one, but I feel like this is catfishing is wrong. Don't get me don't get me wrong. Catfishing is wrong always around, but you well, you're catfishing. You're catfishing and you're you're catfishing other dudes and you're a dude. Why are you doing that? You really need to seek your mental and ask yourself, why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? Why? Why? I feel like people in their right minds wouldn't do that. I'm just like, why are you doing that, you know? I mean, I'm trying to think maybe it's entertaining, but then again, you said you, you do it for the money, basically. You ask for gas money or money to fly them out. I don't feel like these, I don't know. I feel like it's not as easy to get money. Well, I'm not going to say it's hard to get money from guys, but I mean, are you that broke? Are you, uh, I, I, I don't know. I'm just like, why? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I guess it's better than scamming, but technically you're scamming. I, I don't know. But then, they were dumb enough to fall for it. So, still not right, but this, it's crazy. And you said, what really, what really has me shook here is when you said you got on a video, video call with somebody and for you to shake your butt for hundred dollars, and he's thinking you're a girl shaking your butt whole time it's a dude that's crazy and you got the hundred dollars that's sick that's sick it's crazy i i just don't get how the call went i don't i don't how did the call go how did you get on the call and not say anything or do you have a good feminine voice where you sounded like a woman and all you did would like what did you you just really zoomed into your butt crack and you just shaked it like i feel like a man should know what a man's butt looks like i I'm speechless. I, he's never gonna know that he looked at another man's butt. I'm just speechless that you got away with this. That's crazy. Okay, next. Next. Because that's crazy. That's crazy. Next. <laughs> Somebody said, I had a threesome with two girls who used to beef with each other. Mid. Oh. He said the intercourse was mid and now they're best friends. Girls like this are weird because, for one, I would never, and trust me on this, ever, ever do that, ever. Like, I would never do that, ever. Because I know the type of person I am, so I would never, ever, ever have relationships with more than another person. Like, several people, and I would never do any of that. So, I don't, I don't get that, one. But, two... They used to beef with each other and now they're best friends. I mean, I guess. I don't know. That's weird. I That's weird. That's weird. But hey, props to you because how'd you get them both in bed if they used to beef with each other? Crazy. Oh my goodness. This other one's crazy. Okay. I was doing stuff to myself to a video of some girl giving oral on Twitter I decided to click on her profile. Turned out she had a pee pee. So she was a guy. Honestly, I feel like now that's more common to happen. Because I don't know about you guys. Man, this topic is this topic is hard because I know the world is different so different now. So I don't wanna get into any red zone here with anybody. I'm not trying to offend anybody. I promise I'm not trying to offend. I promise I'm not. I really am not. Please. What I was going to say was, I feel like these days it's harder to tell who's who. And I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to leave it at that because I don't want to get in trouble. It's harder to tell who's who these days. The next one. Somebody said I watch midget porn. That's interesting. Maybe that's something you want to try. I guess. Okay, next one. In 8th grade, a girl wanted some pictures of my body. Put it that way. Oh, she wanted pictures of my body for all of her pictures. So I sent them, but I had to cut pieces of my hair and carefully lay it around my junk so it looked like I had pubes. Nudes were crazy, though, so it was worth it. Oh. Okay. Well, this was 8th grade, so... So you just did this to make it look like you were just manly and you were hairy. Okay, I, I guess I get it. I know you were young back then, but honestly, I don't think girls care. I mean, 
I don't think girls care. I don't think it was that serious that you needed to. You said you said you cut pieces of your hair and carefully laid it around your stuff. Hey, that's dedication. That's motivation. But you said she sent you the stuff and it was worth it. So hey, it was a win-win. A win is a win. A win is a win. One time I was in third grade and I was sitting in class and the teacher told us to sit on the carpet to read a book. While we were reading a book, some girl in front of me peed all over my book. Ugh. I was touching it and when I said something, she got in trouble with her mom. Her mom beat her in front of the whole class and I was laughing the whole time. <laughs> and that's messed up, you're wrong for that. But why did her mom beat her? She, it was in third grade. She's probably not potty trained or, you know, I don't know, but she beat her in front of the whole class. Dang. And you laughed? I'm trying to think if I would have laughed too. I guess I would have laughed, but she did pee on your book though, so I guess you were feeling some type of way about it. Okay. I ate half a bottle of laxative gummies. Whoa. Without realizing, then went out and on my way home, I had to poop so bad and my mom was in the bathroom, so I had to wait a couple minutes. And by the time she got out, my stupid self pulled my pants down outside the door and pooped all over the wall. On my leg, the floor, and the toilet. Why can I imagine that? I, I'm The scene in my head, it's so graphic and sick. And it was laxative, so it was probably watery. That is sick. You, you definitely cleaned that up. That's all I know. You cleaned that up. That is sick. I don't know how the laxative gummies tasted, but they, if they taste anything like one a day vitamin gummies, it tastes so good. So, hey, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. This is why it's important to read, kids. Read. Read. Might save you a trip from the bathroom. Might save you from pooping all over the wall, the floor. I don't know, but it just sounds like a crime scene. Hey. Whew. Never had that happen to me before, so, hey. I know your mom was mad. She was mad. I've had this terrible insight thought. It started in fourth grade. My friend got a girlfriend. Day later, I started liking her and even said, when y'all break up, you should come to me. I swear to God. Then in sixth grade, my friend was talking to these two girls and had the urge to pull them. I did, but then rejected them because I didn't really like them and so on. Bro, now they got girlfriends. We in the 11th grade and I still have the urge to want them to like me even though I don't want them for real and the worst part is I never cared to get at girls ever I'm the type to let them come to me but when it's someone's girlfriend I just need to pull them it's sick I don't even know what your thoughts are honestly like how does how, do, how is that possible that must be some kind of like mental defect because because why do you only want them when they're taken that's wrong and you did this after you, you you go after no matter who what girl it is. It doesn't matter if it's your, your friend's girl. Like, it doesn't matter. So, dang, that's a real issue. That's a real issue. I don't know how you're going to have some friends. If that's what you do, that's messed up. Don't do that. You know how the saying goes, hey, if you can take her from me, then you can keep her. So, really, it's all part of the game. And then, then again, if it's not you, it's going to be somebody else. So, I guess, I guess, I mean, I don't know. I'm not trying to justify what you're doing because it's wrong. It's wrong, but I don't know. I don't know. In elementary, I had to pee so bad, but I was new and didn't want to ask in front of the whole class. And the teacher wouldn't stop teaching. So class was going to be over and I was shaking in my seat like, come on. But nobody noticed. So the bell finally goes off and I start running to the bathroom. And as soon as I make it to the bathroom, I pee on myself and I didn't know what to do. So I stayed in the bathroom all day till school was out. I totally get it as a kid because I remember... Whenever I moved to a different elementary school and I was a new kid, I didn't want to do anything either. I don't want I didn't, I didn't want anybody to notice me. So I totally get the part where you were like, I was new and I didn't want to ask in front of the whole class. Yeah, because it's like, uh, yes, Tommy, and then everyone is just looking at you like, who the heck is he? Oh, like you know, it's just it's just it's just scary because you're new and you don't really fit in. It's just weird. Hey. I would have done the same thing, not gonna lie, so that's that. Okay, now we are to our last confession. It's not really a confession because I you know not everybody can read, but I'm gonna still share this one because why not? Let's end the confession video all wild. So somebody said, I never ate booty. They didn't say it like that, but for YouTube purposes. I never ate booty, but I would love to eat yours. Why? Why? Like, why? I just feel like, why do people talk like that to anyone 
Like, you don't even know me. You don't, you don't know me. You don't even know anything about... Why would you say that? That's just... Mm, that's that's crazy. That's not even a confession. That's not even a confession. Why would you say that? Alright, you guys. And on that note, that concludes our confessions video. Y'all let me know what you think. And y'all let me know what confession was the wildest. Appreciate everybody that participated in this video, okay? Huge shout out to y'all. And as promised, all anonymous, no names just stories and with that being said thank you guys so much for watching today's video make sure to give it a thumbs up like comment share subscribe and most of all to your mom to your auntie your tia your abuela and i'll see you guys next time <laughs>